guys today I am coming at you with my August favorites um it feels like I haven't been in front of this camera in so long I did take a little bit of time off from making a few videos and stuff but yay I am so happy and so excited to be um, bringing you my August favorites so let's get started um pretty much to be honest it just seems like definitely like over the summer um, each month it just seemed to almost kind of have like a different theme or something that I would just focus on like um, last month I really was just really really focusing on like skincare and stuff and this past August and everything it just seemed like I was just focusing way way more on like hair care really wasn't wearing makeup too much and things like that no I guess it was just like over the summer it was too hot too much stuff going on so pretty much I really to be honest I really haven't really was not wearing makeup that much over the summer but I am so excited because it's almost fall and pretty much I know I'm probably going to be wearing like tons and tons of makeup over this fall. I am so excited for the fall. It's like my favorite season. So I absolutely cannot wait for fall to get here. Even though I already know <laughs> I'm going to be sitting there complaining and everything once we hit winter. Because uh, I feel the same way about winter as I feel about summer. And the summertime is too hot. I don't want to be bothered in the summertime. I feel the same way in the winter time. It's too cold. I just, I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> but fall is my absolute favorite season. So I'm so excited to start getting ready for that. And I have so much stuff planned for the fall. So I will, I will be so happy once it is fall and just kind of get into all that. But anyway, let, let, let me get to the favorites because now I'm rambling. Um. Like I said, in August, I pretty much was just kind of focusing on hair and hair care and things like that. Um, I will be doing a couple of videos on that. Um, just like kind of some of the products I've been using and everything and how I kind of feel about them. So please make sure to check out that video. And um, I am also planning on getting ready to do a curly hair routine pretty much I have been in my personal life like day-to-day -day life um, I've actually had a lot of people ask me about my curly hair how I got like that and all that and pretty much so I do want to do a video on that um, yeah because like this is this particular hair right here is yeah should have done like a day or two ago but look we, we just we're gonna just roll we just gonna we just gonna roll with this like this for this video but um yeah like I said I do plan on doing that and I definitely want to do kind of a curly hair routine video before I get ready to straighten my hair like toward the end of the month or like toward the beginning of October because I definitely cannot wait I absolutely I absolutely love my curly hair but I cannot wait to straighten it and just kind of roll with that for a little while because I do like to change up my look a lot as you'll probably see in future videos but um like I said I just I oh I I'm ready to straighten my hair like I said I absolutely love my curls and trust me you'll be seeing them in videos in future videos as well but I'm ready to just kind of get this straightened okay so let me get to some of those products that I've used. One of my favorites has been the Lussie's Naturals um, Curl Wave Twist Shaping Gel and this that is a mouthful and the thing is I have been using a lot I've actually over the summer have been trying out a lot of different curly hair products and I'm gonna do a whole whole video on that but pretty much I've definitely been loving using this um, over the over the month of August and everything and also the lusty naturals organ oil hair moisturizer it says triple strength and like I said this is a really good moisturizer if you have thick hair this is a very nice thick 
hair moisturizer. So if you like something a little thinner or if your hair needs something not super heavy, this isn't for you. But if you have thick hair or you want something that's super, super thick, this is definitely these are definitely some products i've definitely loved in august and yes i did pick these up at dollar tree and like i said so yeah these were only a dollar so they're extremely affordable and like i said i'm gonna do a whole video showing you all because i've been trying out a bunch of different products and things over this past summer so um i will be doing a video on that showing you the different products i've used some that are way 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 more expensive than this and just let you know how I feel about them and also the Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Organ Oil. This is a really nice kind of finishing oil on your hair definitely for like curly hair even though I'll probably use this also for um, like my straight hair when I get ready to straighten it and also and yes I know this bottle is empty. I have to go and actually pick up a bigger, the bigger bottle. And I think I may have said this in a video before, but when I went to go um, look for this product um, in the bigger size, I could not find it. But this is the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. This is an amazing leave-in conditioner, definitely for curly hair make sure it focuses um this is definitely a great leave-in conditioner for curly hair just to kind of you know spray refresh your hair and stuff i do have another smaller bottle um and like i said i do need to look for the bigger bottle for when i can get my hands on it because i've actually been looking for it and for some reason i cannot find it i cannot find the bigger bottles okay and those are some of the hair products and moving on to a few more of my faves. Next has been this daily moisturizing lotion that I picked up from Dollar Tree. This is like the Aveeno um, lotion. And I've definitely been using this and loving this because I my skin and stuff gotten a little dry over the summer, but this is definitely something I will for sure be giving a lot of use over the fall and winter time because my skin gets like extra, extra dry over the fall and definitely in the winter time. Like it's ridiculous <laughs> how dry my skin gets. Um, next is the Almay Sensitive Skin Deodorant and I've mentioned this in another video but I really like this. This is definitely something that's great. Um, and like I said, I think, yeah, I've mentioned this like in my Summer Essentials video. But this deodorant, I, I, actually I've been loving this the whole summer. I've been using this because I actually picked up a couple of them. But the one thing I really like is this it's fragrance. It says it's fragrance free, but it has like a slight little fragrance. But this is, like I said, definitely perfect if you are putting on like perfumes and things like that so you don't have a whole bunch of smells combining it definitely works as a great deodorant and a great anti-perspirant anti sitting here like I can't talk but um definitely this was really good definitely like I said if for like um, pairing with perfumes and things like that and you don't want to have too many smells trying to combine definitely in summertime when it's hot yeah can be can go real wrong super fast so yes and also my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Co-Wash no. what okay I'm already say that because I completely messed that up. Uh, the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Body Wash, which is this. And honestly, like I like this is the one I'm currently using. I really do like this Shea. Okay, and that was the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Body Wash. I've definitely been enjoying using that. Next, going back to hair care for just a quick second, um, I have absolutely been loving this Eden Body Works All Natural Cleansing Co-Wash. Okay, 
trying to make sure okay try to make sure that that focuses but this is a really really good co-wash um co-washing conditioner and stuff i absolutely love this i definitely am going to be picking this up um again definitely i love the way it smells the way it makes my hair feel i absolutely have been loving this okay and back and my absolute this has been my absolute favorite 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 body wash um, over the summer which is the chin below the skin body cleanser let me see okay it says chin skin below the chin and this is what it looks like and this is the pure I say the pure and clean with cotton blossom and white musk scent and I've absolutely I absolutely love this body wash I purchased this at Rite Aid and the problem is I have like at least one to two yeah I think I have two yeah I have two more bottles because this is pretty much done I may try to squeeze in one more good use out of this but pretty much I had moved on to another bottle of body wash but, um, I purchased this at Rite Aid, and when I went back to look and see if they had some more, they did not have any. So I do not know if this is something that's been discontinued or repackaged or something, but I am definitely on the hunt for this body wash. I absolutely, 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 absolutely love this body wash. So... I'm going to be on the hunt for it and see if I can find it. Maybe try a couple more Rite Aids or something. And last but definitely not least is the Wet n Wild Shutter Shock Eyelashes. Okay. Now, I, I, I admit, right in and there, I admit I am not the best when it comes to putting on false eyelashes on myself. I've Said this in other videos and things like that that um pretty much i don't really wear false eyelashes like talking about and things like that so pretty much and this is what they look like but pretty much these went on sale and everything generally you can find these are extremely inexpensive these particular eyelashes are only like a dollar regular price and you can find them at walmart and all the drugstores um, and a lot of times you'll actually catch them on sale like two, like three for two dollars. Um, but like I said, I pretty much have been like on the hunt for this particular style, which is, let me get a second to focus, um, in the style Shutter Shock. The thing is, and like I said, okay, these may not be as great a quality as other eyelashes because I know there are like way more expensive lashes out there and there are you know some that are way better quality and I do have some of those as well but my thing is and this is just a quick little tip but pretty much these are great to really just kind of practice on because really and truly a dollar for a pair of lashes is extremely affordable compared to some because I know some lashes can get extremely high I mean these are only a dollar and they have some that go all the way up to like 30 something dollars for one pair like to me that kind of price is like completely insane but like I was saying these are great definitely if you are trying to just either learn how to um do false eyelashes as if you're trying to learn just try to learn how to do them you know or perfect your technique or something because things like putting on false eyelashes and doing you know certain things just take a lot of practice and to be honest when trying to practice and trying to do you know eyelashes correctly and stuff it it could take you a while and a lot of practice to learn how to do 
so I one thing I always suggest is if nothing else these are great to at least kind of learn and kind of practice on and kind of see exactly what works for you like some people like the super super dramatic lashes and things like that and some people you know like just the more kind of simple natural looking ones and these are actually really pretty on to be honest with you I actually uh, really actually kind of like these um, one thing I will say this particular style because they have this which is shutter shock and then they have taming the fringe which um, you know tame shed not taming shedding the fringe which is really easy to find it's the shutter shock that is very hard to find so I was definitely on the hunt for these because I really like the style and like I said I highly definitely recommend picking these up like if you're a beginner at doing lashes and stuff or really and truly if you just are looking for an affordable you know an affordable eyelash and not having to spend a ton of money on eyelashes or have to sit there and wait forever to order them on order some inexpensive lashes online and wait for them to be shipped to you so I do highly recommend giving these a try if, like I said especially if you're just beginning using eyelashes but that is pretty much my August favorites thank you so much for checking out this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and also right here please check out some of the other videos on this channel and if you enjoy the videos on this channel don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video bye